Hello. So as a designer, I have a lot of pens. I keep having this idea that if I buy another pen, I'll suddenly be really good at sketching. It still hasn't really happened. Over the years, my collection has grown quite a bit. Right now, I basically have this camping mug filled with pens. It's not very organized and it doesn't really look that great. I thought, why don't I just design a nice little pen holder? So that's what I'm doing in this video today. And along the way, I'll show you a little bit of my process. Before starting the design, I think it's good to set a couple of goals. Firstly, I want it to be functional. This is something that has to hold a lot of pens, keep them organized and do it in a smart way. Secondly, I want it to look nice and fit in with my general aesthetic of my nice desk. Thirdly, I want to make it low impact and design as sustainably as I can. Finally, as I mentioned in my last video, I think personality is really important when you're designing product. Also, I think it'll make it a bit more unique because I am a weird kind of guy sometimes. Let's jump into a little bit of brainstorming. As I was playing around with things, uh, I kind of came up with this, this idea. It's like a simple, classic industrial designer pill shape. And uh, I think it would keep the pens a little bit more organized. So I'm going to open up Fusion 360 and model this up pretty quickly. That was pretty fast and easy. It's a simple shape. It's not that complicated. Like, it doesn't take that long. Let's throw this puppy on the 3D printer. Now that I have this thing in my hands, I already noticed a couple problems. Firstly, it's a little bit boring. There's nothing really new or that interesting about pill shape. Everyone's kind of done it. Secondly, there's kind of an issue when you put the pens in. They're loading it up. You put a pen in, it'll just kind of fall inside and get lost. And uh, you have to like tip it over, kind of just try to reach your fingers in there to get it. And finally, it always falls over a lot. If you're reaching for a pen, it's really easy to just accidentally knock this thing over and it's all your pens are on the table. And it's so it's not the best. But wait, I think I have an idea. Straight lines are a little boring, traditional unimpressive. What I need is something a bit more like my personality, something that incorporates the wave. Instead of making this thing a straight line, which can fall over really easy, I thought, we make it kind of a little like wave squiggle shape thingy. So let's change our 3D model, kind of a few different little wavy shapes, and then we can throw it on the printer, see what happens. This already looks super cool. There's something about the squiggle that just kind of looks good by itself on the desk already. It's pretty relaxed, but it's also really functional. It's a lot more stable, like it doesn't want to fall over as much. What's really nice about it is if you put a pen in it, it doesn't want to fall over because of the squiggly kind of shape. You can also do this. Oops. It's also kind of something new and cool. I think I'll do a final version of this thing where I clean up some of the angles a little bit. Maybe I make it a little bit deeper so it's a bit more stable and try to make it a bit more compact. What I'm also going to do is use some of this really cool recycled filament that I bought from a company in the Netherlands. If you want to know where to find it, I'll put a link in my description. This company didn't sponsor me. I just really like this matte recycled PLA material they have. So I did a uh, almost final version of this, but I still wasn't happy because there was some dead space in there. So I did one more print, came up with the super compact squiggle. It's really awesome. It holds a lot of pens. Uh, it's super stable and just kind of this cool looking thing you can put on your desk. Let's load it up. Nice. Holds a lot of pens, holds them pretty straight up and uh, super organized. The process is complete. I have some optimal organized pen amazingness that I can use to uh, keep my pens nice and clean on my desk. So now that my pens are really organized, I still feel a little bit disorganized and I realize that it's really just my life that's disorganized. Anyway, that's it for today. Feel free to give me a shout out in the comments and thanks for watching. See you later.